Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passy Skin. It's great to be back. It's great to have another cold open PS freebies just for you playing a little bit of Deus Ex Mankind Divided. It is one of the games available on the January PS Plus all across the world. And the PS Plus for Hong Kong, USA, and EU, it is across all borders. It's actually across the border between man and machine. Power. Extreme. And actually, we've got our son Jensen himself available to us to actually play all spy, hacky, violency kind of fun. Deus Ex Mankind Divided had a major issue back before its release. Um, if you happen to remember, Jim Sterling had a wonderful to go to about a pre, what was it? Evolve your order or pre evolve your pre order or evolve your pre order or evolve your something or other. You know, uh, essentially, it was just about the fact they were advertising so much DLC on launch uh, that you actually had to order multiple versions and then if enough people ordered it then that would mean that they would actually add more stuff to the pre-order and it was it got very kickstartery very very quick <laughs> Jensen stories oh it's kind of nice that there's actually a lot of extra stuff on here uh no we're okay so let's take a look at Deus Ex Mankind Divided I do not, I do not mean to actually like yawn it's just it feels like it Give me a story. Give me Deus Ex. Give me friendship. Give me violence. Give me Deus Ex. I never asked for this. Very much in the um, Doom methodology of actually like designing the actual intro. Oh, oh not even got his glasses on. Ah, oh, right. There's actually um, you can use them human revolution controls. Jump, reload, crouch. Jump, reload, takedowns, sprint. I'm just gonna use the Mankind Divided controls. Right. 12 minute recap video. I, I think I will be okay, because I remember the details of it. Uh, Jensen was a guy who got turned into a half robot. He didn't ask for this, and he drank whiskey, and then shit hit the fan. There we go. <laughs> That's all we gotta know. That's all we gotta know. From Ados, Montreal, the place where dreams die. I once thought I could save the world. Now look at it. <laughs> Yet another alternative terror people are attack. going to die. 251 passengers aboard Sista Airlines Flight 451. Sista? Isn't Sista the thing for, like, legalization of marijuana? Sista, Sista! Ain't no how much I miss ya. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Not that terrible. Details recovered from the black box recorder. Suggest that the man may have been suffering flashbacks. Big hairdo for our news reporter. That horrible day two years ago when augmented. That's where she keeps all her extra hard drives. It's like a read array. Psychotic killing read one, spree. Read zero. Causing the greatest loss of That's life. That's where she keeps all the backup history. data. Sometimes you just have to let go. Sometimes and embrace you gotta be become. not so much of a man. Sometimes you gotta be. Not gonna go all wonky on us now, Hansa. Are oh, yeah. Well, if I do, McCready, I guarantee you'll never see it coming. Agent Jensen! Well, damn! Am I gonna have a problem with you? No, sir. No reason to assume you would. Good. Because you are the only augmented operative on this team, and I intend to make good use of you. Like a Listen tool. Listen up, all of you. Because you're We've a got tool. a sandstorm barreling down our ass, and we can't afford to make mistakes. We're going after this man. An arms dealer named Shepard. He's ex Bell Tower, one of the special forces commanders who disappeared during the incident. And he's come out of hiding. That cannot be good. It's not. He's selling weapons. This is something for Section 8. Section 9. Kutu, Kutaragi, are you there? This oh, wait, hang on. Is this is the wrong world. Scene. Let me change the, the line. The undercover agent who lured Shepard out of his hole. Best you see Interpol's got. For three years, he's worked hard to get in tight with the Jin, an Iraqi smuggling cartel that's infected the Eastern Hemisphere like a plague. Last week, it does feel like this environment, this world, 
Um, interesting as it is, I'm kind of used, I've already seen it uh, as Aramaki doing the story and actually with the action being done rather than actually this kind of like pre-roll preempt, I'm like, go, 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 go! This is where the deal's going down. A half-finished high-rise hotel okay, has been right abandoned here, ever since the incident. It's, really it's not a pretty picture inside. Let me guess. Most of the laborers were augmented with heavy-duty industrial rigs. So when the incident hit, and they all went schizo, things got all went schizo. really fast. And no one, except for some homeless junkies, have been inside the place ever since. What's the plan? Why does it feel like the lip flaps do not really match the what they're floor, trying to say? Inside the hotel's main atrium. Yes, that, that's absolutely right. Crew to the Why do I feel it is not actually sinking? <laughs> team to take up positions overlooking the atrium and make the arrest. Jensen, you're going in solo from the roof. My objectives? I've got this, Keep even though I don't really know what I'm trying to say. As far as we can tell, uh -huh. only one roof uh -huh. connects the atrium to the penthouse level. A halfway decent elevator shaft. Here. I want you to block Not quite there, to it. but here. Yeah. Fine, just cut me loose. But as well, your first. Do you plan face on up. relying yeah. solely on your augments for this one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd recommend taking a little hardware, just to be sure. I'm gonna go non-lethal. We've got a UC in there. Might be easier to maintain his cover if he's not the only one still breathing when this is done. Smart thinking. Yeah. Smart but if thinking. does happen to him, you will be telling well, I give up the chance to use rocket launchers. Get out of the oh, well. Of course. What about range? There's lots of wide spaces and high ceilings in there, but a number of tight and constrained rooms, too. So it's a crapshoot, really. Uh. Pfft. Trank rifle. Well, I'm not looking to play dice with anyone in there. Give me something with distance. Your call. Less chance of being seen and compromising Singh that way. One last thing, Jensen. Singh said that Jin are using some sort of portable Wi-Fi device to boost communications. He's got a better chance of maintaining cover if you disable it. I'll keep an eye out for it. But aren't we on the clock here? You said there's a sandstorm moving in. There is, and we got the intel on this mission. God, this is actually very really fucking minute. distracting. So we're scrambling a little. If it comes to it, your number one priority is keeping the gin out of that atrium. Copy that. Copy that. Was the only thing that actually looked like it's sync sync with the actual look? It just feels like everything's a little You're bit out of first, time. Jensen. Let's do this. I would have thought they might have actually solved that problem. I mean, like even Mass Effect fucking solved their face problems a lot of the time, a lot of the ways. Patches afterwards. This has been around for a while. Maybe it's just a style of game. Maybe it's just meant to look like a really poorly dubbed uh, action flick from the 1970s. Y'all put on your parachutes. I'll see you later. Oof. Did he take a parachute? No. Oh, I used my electric powers. That was very useful. He just turned into coal from goddamn infamous. Eh. So what are we at? Eight minutes in, and the beginning of gameplay. Team leader, this is Jensen. I'm on the roof. The access route you need to block is at the far end of the penthouses. And keep in mind, the direct route might not be the easiest one. Roger that. once his team is on the ground. Miller out. Those mildly entertaining to actually have happen whenever it comes out of the control, but it's also mildly frustrating. I I look. I think should have gone with I really should have gone with Stungum because I have. I'm going to be completely fucked in close quarters. Oh my, we are crouchy. Isn't this fun?
Alright, so we're infiltrating. You can understand that. What we get? No, not ammo. Climb! Oh, look at ammo. Why, hi there. Pocket Secretary carries all their personal data. You know what? You can just build up a large archive of people's random shit. We have colors and shapes. Just remember, red means bad. Fuck you. Well, ain't that delightful. He ain't got nothing. Where am I going? Boom. Oh, come on, he used to break the wall so much better in the original game. Wahoom! Alright, let's open the doors. Gonna break down the door. Look, open! You just punched down a fucking wall! But you had a locked door. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Shove your fist inside the generator. Alright, let me guess. We have to go wandering, climbing up, and mining shit. Is that it? Find some buttons. Push a thing. Box to push up against. Climb upstairs. Alright. I'm assuming I'm meant to open this door with par to that. So follow the lines. Oh, uh, there we go. thing all together. Alright. Over and under. Whoop. There we go. I was wondering why it was taking so bloody long. And open, it says me. I'm just gonna spot it. I think that'd be for last of all. I'll do another sweep in the area, just to make sure.
I'm just gonna keep on moving along here. Dropping all the bodies. I'm stealing his cooler. Is this great? Alright, absolutely nothing in here of interest. Copy that. <laughs> is this the fact that so many kept tranquilizer ammo on this rig since you want like, you know what? The guy's a little bit ready. I think that might be a good idea to keep them from actually causing trouble. Elevator drug dogs. Okay. 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 Be grief. It would help if there was like a little rectangle for this, rather than actually having to do that to get a shot off. But, eh, hindsight. So, for the first 50 minutes of gameplay, it's actually uh, feeling like a particularly simple FPS, third person, hidey, hidey, searchy, searchy, shooty, shooty game. Yeah, I'm good. What the fuck was that? Pretty, how you making out? Slower than expected. Someone's still in the fucking cemetery now. Say again. The shit in the planet to accept the rush was to go on stairs. His voice is in me. One of your cousins, I hate to see Jets. Have you any spare parts? No parts. But I take mine with cream and two sugars while you're asking. Sneaky, 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 shooty, shoot, shooty, shooty, sneaky, sneak. Yeah, I'm good. Movable cardboard box. Oh my god.
weebiness. Okay, run it on. Working my way through the penthouses. Roger that. See? I shouldn't have drunk that. I'm too drunk. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Oh, God. Alright, time to go live. miserably in my attempt <laughs> right well I suppose that's actually a good start and a good place to actually stop for a first look at the game where it's NGC and that um, I am not good at stealth um, the game has actually got a fairly slow esque pace to its opening if you want to see more of Deus Ex Mankind Divided then buy yourself a copy of PS Plus it is a free game for the month of January available on EU American and Asian servers so that at least will keep you entertained in the time in between. So I hope you guys actually check it out. Hope you enjoy yourselves. I was a huge fan of Human Revolutions, uh, but this doesn't really tickle on me pink immediately. I think it was just contextually, the making of Adam Jensen is a lot more interesting than the life of Adam Jensen so far. I'm sure there's actually a lot more intrigue and entertainment in the game to be brought later on. But in the opening acts, I really didn't want to actually be doing a very per Metal Gear Solid clone. So thank you very much for watching. Um, if you happen to be enjoying this video and you enjoy the videos here on the channel, then I hope you actually stick around and watch a little bit more because right up here, there's a video box actually of a playlist of things that have been played here on the channel, quite likely PS freebies. Over there will be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you based on your interest, your taste, your feelings, the things you search for on YouTube. You'll find it in a box right there to the side. Also remember there's a little box way over there in the far side. There's actually something I would really like you. I really appreciate you actually hitting subscribe because there's a wee button there and then the button above it and then of course there'll be a wee card above that. So, you know, there's like all the things over there. To actually make sure you come back and check out more stuff here in the future. Thank you very much for watching and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.